Hey, welcome back. Thanks for watching. I'm going to try to keep this one short. This video is going to be about this front axle uh, venting on the subcompact tractor. Uh, in my case, it's the Massey GC1723, but this issue isn't really a Massey issue. It's, uh, I think, just a subcompact or maybe front axle issue because uh, I see it talked about on the BX forums as well. Uh, so let's jump right in. In the prior video, I talked about the rear end being vented. I'll put a link to that video right here. And the cap is vented. That's a no change there. The front axle is a different story. In the prior video, I tried to pass air through this. I, I scraped the paint, uh, the factory paint off and said, hey, look, there's a hole there. Let's see if it's passing air now. Yes, it is. Great. Problem solved. Uh, but that's wrong. That was wrong. I pinned a comment on that prior video. There's a nub there, but there is not a hole in that. I mean, it does look like it was designed. There's a little slit there uh, to vent, but it, it doesn't vent. Uh, so I think it should be vented because especially when you get in the kind of the cold temperature season and then the front axle gets warm, you, know, you get pressure that builds up or a vacuum and you end up getting fluid leaking. Uh, so that's not a good thing. Uh, normally leaks out of the axle seals, I guess, at a certain point. Uh, so that's why you would want it to be vented. Um, and then keep in mind, you're changing this fluid every, you should be doing it every two years. Uh, so if it's vented, you get a little moisture. Shouldn't really be that big of a deal because you're going to swap it out every couple of years. Uh, now what some people do when they get these leaks, whether due to actual worn axle seals or due to just the pressure building up, they will switch to 8090 gear oil, which apparently was the spec in the front end of the Massey way back when, but now they just say Permatrain 821 all around in the transmission, hydraulic system, and the front axle. So what are the solutions here? Uh, so my solution is pretty low tech. I've been running this cap a little bit loose, and I'll show you a picture now. The result of that is I have had a little bit of kind of spillage out of the cap uh, when I've been running. Of course, I'm not running it loose if it's wet outside or snow outside. I haven't hit snow yet, but I wouldn't run it in that case. Um, I've also been cracking it, if I remember, after I finish running. I'll just crack it, let the pressure out. I'll crack it before I start it up, see if any pressure is built up. It's normally only a little, I don't know if it's a pre pressure or if that's actually sucking vacuum in uh, after I get off uh, the tractor. I guess it's pressure because of the heat. Uh, so that's what I've been doing, running it loose. Some other guys have drilled holes in these to vent them because there is a slit here again. Uh, so this should, you know, if you drill a hole through there, it should end up venting. Uh, so that's a solution. The other solution, and this comes from the BX forms, pretty elaborate, but a pretty good solution. I'll put a picture here. This guy put this, uh, just made this contraption up. So you have to join the BX form and kind of read all about that. Uh, if you're interested in doing something like that. So that's all I got for you today. Just wanted to do this quick update on axle uh, venting. Uh, so it's sort of a correction from the prior video. And the last thing I want to do is have misinformation out there uh, if it's something I can easily correct. So if you have any questions about this video, the venting uh, of the front axle, the prior video, post them in the comments. I'll respond to as many as I can. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.